Thanks for joining me. What we're going to do today is wire up a 240 volt 3 pin UK plug. Why would you want to do that? Well, a number of reasons. A lot of stuff now comes with like pre-fitted cables, pre-fitted plugs. And you've got reams of wire that you just don't want. I want to tidy it all up. I hate wires. So we could just cut this straight off the end. Just chomp through the wire, cut the plug down to the length we want. And then we'll stick a new plug on it. So basically, here we go. We've got the wire. We've just got to trim that down. And screw it into the plug if you've never done one it's quite a daunting task because you're thinking for well, 240 volts you know dangerous electrocution and all that it's dead simple it's really easy let's crack on what we're going to do to start with is you need a three pin plug that's either you've got it off something else or i put a link in the description to the amazon shop you can buy a, a blank three pin plug we're just going to cut no we're not we're just going to take the back off it so there's a screw in the back there that we undo. And the top will come off. Now, nine times out of 10, the screw will stay in there. Some of them, the screw will drop out, but most of them just have like a, a screw that will stay in the plug. So we've got the lid off, we now got the plug. Let's bring you in closer. Now that's a nice neat plug you've got there. And that's what we're gonna try and achieve again so what we're going to do first of all is just relieve these two bolts here which holds the clamp and which holds the wires into the plug keeps this all nice and tight so we spin that over and we can undo the clamp bolt there we haven't got to go all the way just need to go a little bit what we've got inside here is earth wire at the top neutral on the left positive on the right and that's the fuse that comes through there this one's a 13 amp fuse so this is good for kettles and stuff it's quite a lot of a lot of power can go through that sort of up to two two and a half three thousand watts of power what we'll do is clamp undo the clamp screws there these are quite long so we can we can go quite away careful they don't come all the way out and you drop them as well uh, you know that could be uh, a bit of an issue but we'll just undo those and then we can pull out the old wire we can just pull that right out now all of those will come out with a little wiggle and a jiggle there we go that's rid of those so if we were starting we've just chopped off that wire there this is what we've got from whatever we want to shorten or whatever we want to wire up. I've just fitted some security cameras and I need to power up the security cameras. So I'm using this wire. I just need to put the plug on the end of it. This is a three core 0.75 millimeter wire. Um, so when you're faced with the plug, first thing you've got to do is just tally it up. Just, just mock it up to where you want it because you want this wire to come in and go round in a nice neat pattern. So the earth wire is always the longest one. So we just need to make sure we're about right on the length, which is something we'd rather go a little bit longer than to start off with. We've got plenty there, look, to, to work with. Slightly longer than where it needs to be. And we're going to peel the sheath back from where my finger is there. To do that, we just bend that over double, right where we want to peel it off. Like that. We get a little pair of wire cutters and we just nip into the side of it. Just gently, and it will just pierce the outer sheath on it. We bend it, look, and you can just see it starting to go. Do the same, we turn it over and do the same the other side. Just gently nip, it, nip away at it, because we don't want to go through to the core underneath. We just want to do the white outer. Like I say, a bit of a wiggly bend on it, and it should eventually go, look. That little bit there. And then we can pull that apart. And pull the outer off, leaving us with us three cores of wire inside. Now we can slide them up inside the plug. We'll go up through the push that we can push those through from underneath. Make that clamp looser we can feed his new wire in to the plug 
we want this outer sheath to be beyond the clamp and that's where we're going to mock up from so we just hold that like that we just if we turn it around so that the the neutral is on the left hand side then positive is going to come that way the neutral is going to come around that way and then is earth is going to go up to the top we just need to go slightly longer on every one because I want to double these up so on the, that one there if I just chop that back to about there like so this one coming round here if I just chop that slightly longer again to about there like that and then on the live wire coming through I just go slightly longer on that to about there like that so that's them all chopped off we can now pull that through and we'll just trim the ends off these now so it's one by one taking about 10 mil off of each one we just work the outer sheath a little bit pop it off again on that one all about the same length work the outer sheath pop it off on that one Work the outer sheath, pop it off, and then we're going to twist each one, bend it over, double like that. That's one done. We'll do the earth. We'll twist that one up, bend it over, and then the live. We'll do the same with that one. Twist it up, bend it over. And now we've got just three wires that are ready to go back into the plug. So we'll just get them closer for now. What we could do with the plug is push these feet or the legs back through if we want to a little bit to help us clamp it in. And just release them a little bit more just to make life easier when we're going back in again. Okay, right. So this new wire now is going to go straight, straight up the rear end. Yeah, get it in. <laughs> Come on, you, up you go. Something along those lines. Let's just tidy them up now. Make sure that we're all nice and neat again. Like I say, I could take that clamp bolt right out if you wanted to. If it save a little bit of faffing, I suppose. Now then, let's get these back in again. Let's get them pointing in the right direction to start with. So what we can do is spin. Oops, I'm going off the camera there. We'll spin that one round, the neutral round there. We'll pop that into its holder there like that. And then do the clamp up. That's that one in. Pull that down a bit. And then we can do the same. We'll push the live one up. And I shall take that completely off of there. And I'll take the, the fuse out completely there. And with that live wire now, I can push that up. Like that. Making sure we're all nice and neat. come here fiddly fiddler we can drop that onto there Ooh, need to undo it just a tiny bit more we'll drop that through like that and we can do that one up as well oh it's gone all the way through look <laughs> <laughs> oh dear there we go let's get that just there like that move him out of the way make sure he's all the way in where we want him and then we'll do that one up there we go nearly there just a little bit more I'll just do that fully in a minute and then the earth wire 
it's coming up and round like I say we can push that through again and we'll pop Mr Earth in, the, in its hole like that and then push that down and then do that one up as well so that's that one up tight neutrals down and then tight and then the live one we can push those through we can pop the fuse in to hold everything into place like that and then we'll completely do that one up nicely as well there we go so the wires are all in nice and neatly now we just got to do this clamp bolt back up again we'll make sure the wires in the middle we'll spin it over and then we can do these back up again same either side just working them down I can check again as well if we're about level which it looks like we're in the middle so we'll go for that we won't go mad with it just nip them up there we go looking lovely everything's all nice nothing's under tension got lots of uh, lots of slack all the way through there it's lovely and we can pop the top back on look at me with my unsteady hand and we'll do that back up again there it is completely finished now some plugs this one had three wires in it some of them only have two wires some plugs will have the earth wire missing so if you're what you're actually changing is um completely made of plastic so like this it's completely made of plastic chances are when i chop the top off that it'll only have two wires going to it the only time you'll get an earth wire is if the item that you're using is got some metal on it a metal exterior uh, where there's a chance of getting an electric shock on it if the thing's complete the plastic you won't get an earth wire so don't worry you just fit the the live and the neutral and just leave it uh, leave the earth one blank so let's just have a little chat about the fuses the fuse inside the plug is quite important um very important in fact what do you put in what fuse should you have in a plug the way to correctly find out what fuse you need in your plug you're just going to divide how many watts your appliance is by 240. how do you know how many watts something is this heater for example just come around the back have a look at the label there and it will tell you exactly how many watts it is. So did, for example, if it was a 2000 watt kettle, you divide that by 214, it would be 8.3. 8.3 amps, well, we don't get an 8.3 8 amp fuse. Near as damn it, because we want a little bit to play with. There's going to be some surges when you plug that kettle in. Um, that's when you put your 13 amp fuse in. Uh, like I say, if it was something small like a TV, 3 amps is going to be absolutely ample. So there we have it, plugs all wired up. Everybody needs to know how to wire a plug because it's such a handy thing to know. Um, and well, I suppose, you know, we've all got to learn at some point. So if that's been a use, you can shorten all your wires all around your house. Now them wires can be gone. Your TV, cables, chop them off, put plugs on the end of them so that it's all the right length. Um, yeah, if that's been a use, if you've enjoyed that one, just drop me a little thumbs up, like and subscribe and drop me some comments. Thanks for watching. Hello.